these are the top 10 best apps if you work from home to increase your productivity. So like a little context, as more companies shift towards remote work, managers may find that employees are struggling with productivity throughout the day. Let's face it, you're struggling with productivity throughout the day when you're working from home. So whether it's tending to personal matters at home or reprioritizing tasks or rewarding or warding off distractions, some employees may find it more difficult to work at home than in the office environment. But thankfully to this episode, <laughs> there are apps to help you fight back and help you get on track, stay focused, and get more work done so you can have time for the real work-life balance where you can walk away from your computer stress-free, knowing that you can easily pick right off where you left off tomorrow or yesterday. These are my top 10 favorite apps, and these apps I use every single day. <laughs> these are my top 10 favorite apps for remote workers, so you can sharpen your focus and increase your productivity. Let's get started. So diving into... Uh, number one right here, Spark. Spark is an app, by the way, if you don't know about any of these apps and you're like, oh my gosh, Sean, I've never heard about this. There'll be a bonus at the end where you, I don't want you to get left out behind and like, oh my gosh, like how can I find out and keep up with like all the latest tech? Cause there's new stuff that's coming out. This All this is, is to make your life easier at the end of the day. And if you have the pain and nightmare of managing more than one email, you know the pain nightmare. It's, it's it's horrible. So I manage more than four emails and I have to keep them all like inbox zero because there's opportunities in all of them. So I have to manage all of them. So prior to using Spark, this was my life. Like I would log into each of these accounts. I would go through, use my mouse, check everyone, open, close, okay, archive, move this, delete, spam, use my mouse. It would take me like 35 minutes to like work through my email. And that is a huge waste of time. Um, so using Spark, this is my life now. I log in, to, I don't even log in. I just open up Spark. It automatically logs into all my accounts and I just work through one and then I have keyboard shortcuts that I'm either like, boom, archive, spam, or delete to reply. Boom, archive, spam, delete, reply. Archive, spam, delete, reply. Archive, spam, delete, reply. That's all I'm doing. Boom, 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 boom. So I could clean all my inboxes in less than seven minutes. I'm like, what? What? Like, this is time back in your life. Like, this is what I love. Like, I want time. I want hours back in my life so I get true work life balance. So I'm not stuck at the office doing things like managing emails. These are tasks that have to get done, but there's smarter ways to do them so that, so that we don't have to do them the harder way. And so that's why Spark is the number one uh, starting off uh, app that I, I use religiously. So if you manage more than one app and it's free, come on now it's free. They like, they make their money when you're using teams, like say you have like a customer support app and like you have one email and you want your teams to manage it, which is just as worthy. Like you're not having your team log into that Gmail account. Like what a waste of their time. Like you would give them some email client much like this so that your team or you could work on it. But if you're using it for yourself and you're managing your personal emails, more than one, oh, get this app game changer, all these apps, game changers, y'all game changers. But let's move on. Number two, everything is on the calendar. If it's not on the calendar, doesn't exist. Especially when you're time blocking, you're trying to manage large amounts of production work where you're trying to get things done. Like you need to be managing your calendar. And so when you're working with your peers, the most fast or the fastest way that you can share time and find the right time slot in each other's calendar, highly recommend using Calendly. Calendly is the best for like automation for not just like inviting people or showing uh, availability on your on your calendar, but just send out a link and say, hey, use this link. It will automatically show you my availability, show you my time. I'm like, hey, I want to work with this person for 30 minutes. I want to give this person the two hour slot. You could customize it. You could host even group events. Um, you can even collect payment with it. It's such a powerful app just for scheduling, um, just the automating schedule, because if you have to spend more than one email or more than one message, like between another correspondent and trying to like get time on their calendar, hey, it's Thursday between four and five, or you're trying to do like, oh, 
HR or like HR is notorious for this, like trying to use this, like select your availability between this time slot for the next two hours in this obscure app that, and then I'll use my app to get like, no, like send me your Calendly and then I'll select the time and date. Boom. It books. We both get reminders. Like it's amazing. So that's why Calendly and it's free starting off again, free again, no excuses, no excuses. That's what I love about these productivity apps. They allow you to work from home smarter, not harder, and they're free to get started. And even if you pay for the ones, the time you get back by investing in these apps for whatever their paid versions are worth it, worth it. What, how much is your time worth? That's what you're asking. Like my time is worth way more like my time i can't even tell you the hour like my time is worth so much like because of this these apps so you want to elevate yourself um from doing just like uh the mundane admin work so there's tools like this like calendly to automate your calendar you can tell i'm really passionate about this stuff like it's time people time work-life balance but let's jump into my favorite but this one i had to like um do it on a incognito window because I'm like logged in. So I'm also reading my script from here it's because it keeps me organized. I'm running my entire life and business out of ClickUp. Like that's why like ClickUp for, okay. So let me tell you before, before I was using, I've used Trello for task, task management. You got your little Kanban board. If you don't know why it looks like a Kanban board, like you definitely need to look into lean thinking and like, like there's principle, there's like productivity principles behind why the board is actually more effective for you to visually or visualize your work and you get that satisfaction when you're moving it from in, in progress to complete. Ooh, get that block over. You're like, Oh, I got all those done. I love seeing completed. So I've moved from Trello and then I've upgraded to notion. I've done to do I've done things three. I've even done Asana, like all of these to just with one goal, manage my tasks and projects, uh, for, from and schedule it between today and my future. That's pretty much what you're doing is you're allocating your hourly time uh, for work. You're basically budgeting work at the end of the day. And this tool allows you to budget not only work, but also all the details around work. And then also allows you to collaborate with other peers around work. Like you don't need a Slack chat um, because you could chat with your team around the document or the task that's relevant, relevant inside ClickUp. All, you don't even need email correspondence. Like you could correspond, you could, <laughs> you can chat, like you don't need email. You don't, I was going to put like Miro on here for like board visualizations, um, for like visualizing, but they do it too. But like, this is basically what it's about. If you have to do, and you have to budget your work in tasks and projects, and you also have to work with others, you need a very robust task management app and hands down. ClickUp manages my life <laughs> and it makes life so easy, so easy. It's, it's cheating. Like if, if you put me up against or anyone up against someone who's not using ClickUp with put them up against Notion or things three or Todoist or Trello, they would crush them in the amounts of volume. They would be able to move mountains of work while that person is just shoveling like work. It's just so specialized. Again, these apps are specialized. They're tuned. There's specialty apps and there's generalist apps. So these apps are so specialized for the function of work. Say, for example, for work management. Oh, oh my gosh. It is a game changer. Like, oh, <laughs> but like, I digress. Let's, it gets me excited. Let's move on. I got so many other videos about that, but number, okay. We're at number four. Number four is a password manager. Boom. And I'm recommending Pat one math, one password <laughs> for your password manager. So if you use this is like life before, if you use and save your passwords on notes, Google docs, pen and paper, or you save your passwords or worse, you have the same password across just with like a different variation or a different year across most of your accounts, you are begging to be hacked. Please. It is very dangerous online. All jokes is fun to aside. I want you to be safe. I want your accounts to be safe. This is your information and you're always want to like me as a senior Salesforce administrator, I always want to make sure your, your information is protected. And so that's why I always highly recommend, um, just, you have to invest. I mean, it's, it's super affordable. There are the free ones, but it does 
this one is so effortlessly because when you can use also use face scan on your phone and then fingerprint scan on the Mac to like access it, you don't even like you've got your one master password, but then you could use your face or your scan to like boop, 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 and instantly check in and out, see all your passwords, get what you need, boom, boom, in and out. All your passwords are unique, complex, and secure. Like that is just like base one. So like if you're a professional, a business owner or an enterprise and you don't have a password manager, this is my advice. This is what you're going to do. First thing, first thing Monday morning, you're going to buy a round of donuts and you take those donuts to your I person who manages your IT and you're going to fire them <laughs> because why have they not implemented a password manager for the number one thing is security for your business because most of your businesses are probably running SaaS products. You're probably most have most have your information in the cloud using anything from Salesforce to HubSpot to Asana to ClickUp like your information is in the cloud like this is you want to protect it and the first layer of protection is a password manager. So that's why I highly recommend Okay, my rant is over. Get a password manager. Very easily imagined, especially when you get it on uh, Mac or um, on your phone. It's like real fast to be like, it's using your fan, your <laughs> fingerprint or your face to be like, boom, there's my password, boom, and copy paste. It syncs across like, oh, it's not a hassle to be like, oh, if it's a hassle to go find your password, you need a better tool. Like, and or if you've tried one password, you're like, yeah, oh, I try. A lot of these tools, if you're not using them correctly, that's why they're a hassle and you also need proper training on how to use these because that's another thing with these tools you can download to use them but if you're not properly trained on how to use them you're not getting the most you can out of these because if you implement these tools just one of them in your business or your life you will save one day a week in productivity and extra time back and you're like john that's what that's how powerful these tools are it's amazing like we live in the future But let's move on to number five. Number five. <laughs> Can you guess? Siri. <laughs> Man, that looks beautiful as a wallpaper. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Apple, they've got their design <laughs> on point. <laughs> they've had the best wallpaper we can nice enjoy with. I should make my presentations look as aesthetically pleasing as that. That's actually cool. But Siri, this is how I see the future. Um, this is the future is already like already there. The future will be voice control. And we're already seeing it with like AI prompt engineering where you just speak or type a phrase and then the computer can interpret that and know what work needs to get done just by what phrase or words that you say. Um, and I've tried, I was like, I don't know. Okay. We're going back in time, but like, remember, I always grew up, think grew up, I grew up with Dick Tracy and he had this watch on his phone where he could like talk to his phone. Like I thought that was like the future of like, man, I could have like a watch that I could just speak to it. And then I have a personal assistant on my watch. That's amazing. I can't wait for that day. And it never came but until now. <laughs> and so I tried many different voice apps, but the whole point of it is Either you just have to be in the room, same room, somewhere you could just throw this in the corner. You don't even have to carry it with you. Uh, that's why I'm always like with Air, uh, with AirPods. Um, because then when you have that, that th I call it that um, lightning in a bottle, that idea that, oh my God, I should uh, call back that call back that person or I forgot to do this task at work or oh my gosh this is a great business idea this will happen if I click it da, da, da. you're reading an audiobook and all of a sudden things click you're like oh you capture that lightning in the bottle so when you have to oh where's my notebook and you're trying to capture you're like oh where's the notes you got open log in like you the more time you waste the least you least likely you would save that thought and I find those lightning thing thoughts when you're like connected like those are really like valuable and you want to capture them as quickly and as raw as possible and then direct them where you need them safely so that you could use them. For example, if it's a new task, a new business idea, um, a note, um, or something you have to do on your calendar or something like that. And so that's where I found Siri across all the devices. I'm just going to activate all of them. We're going to call her Sally for the, for this. Um, and so for Sally, this is where it's like it's great for there are four four uses for siri that i found that turn her into a personal assistant um number one is great for capturing ideas as soon as they come either you have to order something you have to buy something um you have to do something you're like oh remind me this um it's great for capturing ideas instantly so you just go hey sally remind me blah 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 blah, blah and capture it 
anywhere. You just boo 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 your hands watching or for me, I'm like shaving and all of a sudden I get that thought. I'm like, oh, hey Sally, add a reminder, blah, 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 blah. And, boom. and now you can do it with ClickUp. You go, hey Sally, add a new task using ClickUp and you go like, <laughs> I don't know the phrase off the top of my head because it's so new I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's, um, hey Sally, add call Bob back using, oh, oh man. It's like add new tasks in whatever your list name using ClickUp. That's like the phrase. I haven't committed it to memory yet, so I'm still working on that. Um, you're going to use it for setting reminders, uh, multiple reminders throughout the day for like, hey, remind me at this specific time, this thought, or hey, remind me in 10 minutes, do this. It's great for setting multiple reminders with context around them. A lot of us have reminders where like, hey, Alexa, or whatever, you set a timer, and then that timer goes off. And you're like, what was that timer for? <laughs> so that's where it's great, right? You can set multiple reminders with with unique uh like context around it um using uh siri engines oh it's just so helpful and then you can add new tasks you can click up and then you can also add things to your calendar so like oh i gotta do that thing on friday or hey i gotta do that thing on thursday or something like that you can add it to your calendar using uh sally using your voice it's game changer um in below, there will be a link where you can actually get the word commands. Um, that way you can know exactly what to say to Sally to do. So there's, you'll get the cheat sheet. Uh, so the cheat sheet will be in the link book down below. But Siri, oh my gosh, game changer as far as like working from home and just like, she's my personal assistant. It's so awesome. Next one up, number six, Apple Calendar, sync with your iWatch. So basically you need all your calendar and all your time or all your different emails with all your calendars synced across in what you need one master calendar, one source, source of truth that you could go to. This is, has all my tasks, projects, calendar, everything is in this one calendar. And so that's where I have everything synced to, um, Apple's light calendar. That way it syncs across, um, not just the phone, but also the watch. And here's where the real value is. Um, I, if I ever have a question, what should I be doing or what's going on today or what's going on in the week, I instantly can just open that app or look at my watch and I know exactly what I'm going to be doing today right now or what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day or the week. And I instantly get that awareness of like, oh, calendar, boom. Okay, cool. And move on. It takes five seconds. And that's where it's like, it's speed to get this information. If you're like, oh yeah, let me check my calendar and you got to go unlock the phone to get the app and you got to check the cat. No, you've already like wasted so much time. I can look at the watch and it could tell me exactly what time it is, what activity I should be doing, what activity is coming up next. And I'm like, okay, great. Moving on. Or yeah. So it's so great when you have one source of truth to manage your entire time, because that's when you can get really great at time blocking. Um, then you get again to deep work, time blocking, um, a lot of other, it's free, <laughs> another free one, <laughs> but let's move on. Number seven. Oh, my favorite. Every Mac should come with this, honestly. If you don't know about Alfred, meet Alfred. Alfred is only for Mac, and a lot of this is Mac biased. It's not a Mac versus PC thing. Once you use Mac platform, it makes all these tools, it makes it effortlessly to access the apps and to use it. Um, that if you have to fight the tech and the hardware and app, it's it's not about cost, PC specs, or any of that. It's does the hardware, is the hardware effortlessly for me to use? Um, that's where it's really about. So Alfred, there's two superpowers because with Alfred, um, let's say when you, when you get a Mac, let's face it, you're really only doing like three things on, on your Mac or on your laptop. You're either accessing files, you're either accessing some apps or you're accessing some websites. That's pretty much it. Like fundamentally, you're just moving between those three things. If you have to use your mouse to navigate between each of the apps to each of the tabs and then jump around to your files and use the mouse to navigate around. Then you got to go back to the websites and navigate, go from one click to the next website, go from this setting, jump to this setting. And they got log. If you're wasting so much time using your mouse navigating around, the first hack is what I call teleporting and you can only do it with Alfred and teleporting. Um, I can actually demonstrate it here, which actually this is cool. Um, I'm going to think of, Ooh, I don't have a demo of some good, ah, uh, let's see. I have, let's say I need to go to Zapier, for example, I was working in Zapier earlier today. So 
I could teleport to Zapier just by enabling Alfred. Boom. So that little space bar that just, or that little pop-up search bar. Boom. Just instantly it's like, oh, where would you like to go? And I'm like, yeah, take me to Zapier. And it's like, okay, let me open up Chrome browser. Let me take you there. Let me get you logged in and let me take you directly to that setting page that you like. Wow. It was like being chauffeured. That's called teleporting. That's amazing. Like you think of how much time if you have to start the timer to get your mouse, move your mouse to Chrome, click on Chrome, wait for it to open, go to the URL, type in www.zapier.com. I could tell you're already getting bored by me just trying to describe this. Like that's all that time instant. And how many websites do you go through? Like I could go to a thousand websites in a day. Like you're just teleporting up, just boom, 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 boom. But like the amount of time it takes just to get to the web page that you need to get to or that one setting, like time fast. And so this is where it's like, I call it teleporting. You can only do it with Alfred. <laughs> but the other cool thing is um, you get clipboard history. So. So with clipboard history, I could take, let's say, um, let's go to one password. So I'm gonna copy this headline, copy. And then I'm also gonna copy this headline, copy. I'm gonna copy this headline. And you're like, John, can't you only copy one thing at a time? <gasps> what if you had a memory of everything that you copied? And you know what? I also wanna take a picture of this. And then I wanna take a picture of this all of that is now in my memory copy 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 and i just took two screenshots and you're like john how do you access that thanks to alfred we can look in the memory and just go bam there's the four things number one there's the picture we just took there's the next screenshot there's the text i know it's really small i can't really zoom in sorry but it says spark features here's the next one easy scheduling ahead here's the next one what if you had a memory of all the things that you copied throughout the day like how much time would that save you? <laughs> Again, how much time is your worth? <laughs> it's like, so clipboard history and teleporting are two like super time hacks when you start using Alfred. Again, game changers. <laughs> I love these, love these. But let's right, we're rounding out the list. Three more to go. You're, you're, hanging in, you're hanging in there. This is a long episode, but these are the best productivity apps for working from home. And you need to know about these if you're not using these. Um, so number eight, Notion, hands down. This Notion is like, is my second brain. So everything from documents, SOPs, um, list, files, everything is in Notion for me. Like it's so easy to put information in and then search and then take information out uh, and then go back. Like I could go to, all, to the history of all the books that I've read. I could pull the history of all the meetings I've ever been in. I could pull up a history of all, used to all the tasks I used to do in Notion because it used to be my task manager. Like it has a great, perfect memory of all the things I need to work on and easily organizes them in lists. Super easy, super clean. And I use it as my, it, everything I know is in Notion. So it does this cool thing where I could Google Notion <laughs> and I could search my brain. I could be like, what was that book I read around May? Has to do something with EOS. Oh yeah, EOS life. And it's so easily searchable. So that's where I love Notion for just like, oh, it's for digital note taking. It's like the best. And especially for students. Um, highly recommend that. Can't like enough. <laughs> Let's jump around to number nine. With number nine, anytime you have to sign a digital document or you have to turn it into, um, a, or turn a PDF file into a digital file uh, to send the clients to sign, uh, that's where I use JotForm. JotForm is like legal contracts, invoicing, forms, if you're attorneys, like anywhere that any business that uses uh, legal forms um, or you have to fill out forms uh, like there's so oh, yeah, they also have like these great templates. So you can also see a bunch of like what what they have. But this thing is so powerful and easy to create a form, digitize a form, send it to a client. They easily sign it. You get it back. They get reminders. Um, or you can make it simpler. You have this complex legal form that you need to get filled out, but you don't want to send that complex legal form to your clients like, and have them look in, oh yeah, it's cell C4 and you got to look in the scribble C4 and it's this tiny little text box. Yeah, scribble your name or that special ID number. And you're like, 
where page four uh, i gotta look and you're like you've lost the client like you've made it so complex for them this is where it makes it so nice where you could create these forms like uh like the user fills out the form and then that form the information will populate the whatever complex legal document that you have um that's where it makes it very easy and very user in like very nice for your users to like um sign forms with you guys um very, rather than saying them a pdf and just saying fill it out and sign it and send it to us and then email it back to us dear god what a painful experience <laughs> sign this pdf form and email it back to you ouch like 2022 people like let's get this like their services that do this it's oh and they're worth every penny like super affordable but let's move on to number 10. Whew, man, we're rocking with it. Number 10, in order for you to achieve work-life balance, you need to control your daily schedule and you need to time block so that you have time for deep work so, or that you have enough time to work on one uninterrupted task. So using a timer is going to help you keep focused. Um, and then it's also going to give you a rule so that you know not to get up and not to get up from and stop that one task you're working on until the timer goes off. And that's where it's, it's going to build your discipline. It's going to build your ability to focus because it's a muscle. And if you have been scrolling on TikTok and like on Instagram and all that, you've been screwing up your attention span. So of course your attention span is really slow. So it's looking for the next dopamine hit. Like, no, 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 we need to slow it down and you need to focus for a set period of time. Start with 15 minutes and set and focus for 15 minutes, set a timer. These timers are free. Um, you get one on the Mac, boom, sit in the top right corner, boom, 15 minutes. You can use your phone, um, say, hey, Sally, set a timer um, for like 15 minutes, super easy. Um, and then you do not get up and you do not answer texts, emails, messages. You just do that work. Um, your task manager would is going to be like your um, personal assistant right there. Has to be like, hey, great, deep work. Work on this task. This is your top priority. And you're like, thanks, pro project manager. And you're like, boom, 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 boom. You're like, man, those 15 minutes, I got more done than it, most people get done in an hour. <sighs> yeah, execution, deep work with a good task manager combined, mm, dangerous productivity dangerous oh yes but this is so this one's free super simple start with 15 minutes work your way up to like 40 when i'm at 45 minutes after that i need like a snack water break um and then take like five 15 minute breaks uh, i recommend five minute break then jump back in um but this is going to help you focus 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 and then relax and then you can spend the next 45 15 to 45 minutes focus 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 and then relax you need that that give and take that balance of like focusing and not focusing go outside do some activity where it doesn't take your doesn't take like a um your mind to focus it could just like observe like that's where you want to work in those two areas to work give yourself enough like mental energy to get the task done and then breathe re-energize get the task done breathe so it's like weightlifting. You're like going to do a set and then you relax. It's all about the rest. You need the rest too. Um, but then you get on another, set, on another set. There's other ones. So this is where it's like there are lots of other time trackers. Um, and there's ones that could get real crazy and specialized. Um, but my rule of thumb is like start simple. And if, it's spend, if you're spending more than five, 10 minutes just fiddling with the app, then it's probably wasting more time than it is helping you. But I will recommend, because um, I'm also using another one. Um, this one's a little more advanced. This one is Rise. This one is a dope productivity time tracker. Um, this one is dope because it automatically knows when you're working. So as soon as you start moving the mouse, and if you're working online with a bunch of websites, SaaS products, again, you're on your computer working between files, apps, websites, and um, and yeah, this app, this program is going to help you uh, track what you're doing, what apps you're going to, what websites you're going to, at what time, um, so that it gives you amazing analysis. If you like data, <laughs> you're going to love this app. You could get, you could geek out and customize it to like work on how much time spent on certain projects. It will automatically recognize certain websites. So it's like, oh, it'll categorize it based on, oh, you, you're in a meeting. Um, it syncs with the calendar, so it knows when you're in a meeting. It knows when you're doing documentation or you're coding or you're sending email messages or you're doing some task management or you're doing um, <laughs> miscellaneous. So 
that's where this is going to give you a breakdown. So it's going to help you if you need to like set a set number of hours to work and dedicated deep focus and like really time block, like you dedicated time across certain different projects. Um, this thing and you really, this is really going to help. Um, I was, I used this for about a year and it really helped give me awareness to like where my time was going, what, what time throughout the day was best for me as far as like working. Um, and you get great reports on how productive were you? Did you hit your peak? Did you not? What days were you were? Why were you not? Um, so this gives you a lot of insight, um, as a productivity app for like a time tracker kind of thing. Um, and they're called rice, which is really cool. So <laughs> I just gave you a lot of information, 10 apps that you're like, oh my God, John, I didn't even know any of some of these existed, let alone how am I going to get started to using these? But I want to leave you in knowing that just implementing just one of these apps correctly can save you one day every week. So that's why I show these to you because a, I use these tools every single day. They have saved me hundreds of hours of work so much time like incre it's incredible amounts of time like um so that's why i want to share them with you and it's a long episode but you need to know about these apps so if you're struggling to work from home um and you found these apps um interesting then um there's a link below where you could get my productivity secrets so that you can work smarter and not harder and that's going to take you to a website where i have a free guide this is my productivity guy where I could give you not only my best apps, but other apps left such so you can stop feeling overwhelmed at work and you can win back control so that you can end emo overload and achieve inbox zero. There's a lot of goodies in here that I can't just put in one YouTube episode. Um, so this is my gift to you. You could grab this. This will going to help you um, expand your awareness as far as what really is productivity. How can you really work smarter while, as you work from home? Um, because it's not just about the apps. You can use the best apps, but if you're not using them correctly or you're not doing these other fundamentals, such as controlling your environment, then the best apps are not going to help you increase your productivity and while you work from home. And so that's why this has a lot more around the um, practical principles that I use every day to help me work smarter and not harder. And so I highly recommend if you've never heard any of these apps um, or you found any of this helpful, then you can join uh, my gaining clarity newsletter. That way I could give you the book and free tips over the next couple of weeks so that you can always level up because I don't want you to get left behind because that's, we're moving into a digital world and we got moved fast from like work to like remote work. And if that, if you're struggling, that's why I don't want you, I want you to A, know that there's tools out there available to make your life easier. Most of them are free. And then B, there's also resources so that you could continue on your education um, so that you could learn pretty much like how to work smarter and not harder at the end of the day. So I'm Jonathan Acuna. It's so good to spend time with you. Thank you so much for hanging in there for 10 of my best uh, productivity apps that I use every day to work from home. So I'll see you in the next episode. Stay blessed.